bottom of the furniture flippers guide. I'm so excited today. I'm doing my first furniture dupe. Yep. And I'm going to be doing it with my friend Kara. She has a page called Lemons to Lemonade. She has her own dupe that she's doing. So be sure and go check it out. Let's talk about the dupe I'm doing. It is a waterfall console table and it's gonna be gorgeous, I'm so excited. But there were some ups and downs, a little bit of deliriousness because we were oh, completely wow. exhausted, but it worked out so well. If you bought this piece, it would be over $600 and we did it for less than $50. So check it out. I'll teach you all my steps and tips and tricks for furniture flips and dupes. Here we go. So as soon as I finished researching how to create one of these pieces, we immediately went to the hardware store and picked up a board. We found a board that was 16 feet long, 12 inches deep and two inches thick and had it cut into three parts so we could fit it in our car. Can you tell we're excited? What's your cool trick? Woo! Woo! Yes. Oh gosh, be careful. Love it. Love it. All right, y'all, we are getting started on this dupe. It is a waterfall console table dupe. There are a lot of those on all the major furniture websites, and I'm gonna show you which one we are going to dupe. Okay, so we went, we got the wood, and we are ready to get started. We will need to be mitering the edges. We have measured out the sizes that we want. So for the length, we are gonna do 60 inches, and for the height, it's gonna be 32 inches. So I'm really excited. Let's hope it works. I'm not a big miter person. My husband's gonna help me a little bit with using the saw, and I'm gonna teach y'all what I learned. So <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. It's gonna be difficult. You wanna do the table saw? Let's I do it. I need to. Let's do it. got all the mitered pieces done and now we are getting ready to just chop off the extra length of the sideboards. So here we go. We're going to do that and then we'll get ready for our next part. Like I said, we decided to go with 32 inches for our height and 60 inches for our width. And at this point of the night, we were beginning to get a little bit delirious. This is a 24 hour flip, but... I think we might have lost it. Actually, can you lift that up for me? Mm -hmm. How's that? The struggle is real. There you go. And now push it back down where it was. This is, <laughs> this is hard. How's that? My face isn't in it, honey. Oh, well that... We have... The boards all cut. They are ready and I'm gonna sand them down so that they are smooth and don't give us any more splinters because we got a few, but we're gonna sand these down and then we will get them put together. Yes. I'm pumped. Are you pumped? Woo! Wow. Woo! Thanks. Okay. Are you pumped? Woo! No. Yeah. Whoa! 
That was it. You nailed it. Yes. That was righteous. There we go. All right, standing time. So we got it together. We were delirious, but we had things to do. So I used the Surf Prep Ray Sander to do the sides and get the fine areas off. And then I did my circular sander to get the deep grooves or the dark markings off. Is it pretty smooth? Yeah. Before when I was doing this, it was like, <laughs> just catching on everything, including my hands. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, no splinters. Oh, stop hitting me. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up. I know. So now that the boards are prepped and ready, we are able to do the fun part. Here are the tools that I used. Really? And the cat always has to be involved. But I got my pieces together, fitted them to see if they fit perfectly. Mm, let's switch. For some reason, they fit better like that. So we got the mitering areas put together and got the wood glue ready. Heavy amount of wood glue just to make sure that they stick because I don't wanna worry about that falling apart. If it overlaps or wood glue comes out, it's okay because I'm gonna be sanding these pieces down. I got my 90 degree angle and my braces and we're gonna attach these boards together. Now the braces won't be there forever, we're just using them to hold the boards together while the glue dries. And once that glue is fully dried, we will take them off and it will be beautiful. I added some extra glue in those joints just to give it a little bit of extra support. And I definitely recommend this as being a two person job. It just helps to have extra hands to hold those boards in place as you're screwing the braces on because they want to move. If y'all haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. I would love for you to join me here each week as I share all my flips and tips and sometimes dupes. All right, we've got it put together. I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers that this thing stays. Let's clamp it up and we'll see. All right, it is all put together. I've let it dry for over eight hours. It dried overnight. I'm gonna lift it up, see how it works, and then I'm gonna do some touch-ups. So just adding some um, wood filler in any spots that didn't quite perfectly meet together. I'm gonna sand down the edges if I need to, if there's a little bit of overlap on those mitered edges. And then I'm gonna get to staining and we're gonna be done. Let's see how it goes. What do you think? How's this gonna go? Think it'll be good? Okay, wow. All right, I feel ya. Here we go. Okay, it's time to remove the clamps and see what happens. It worked. Just gotta do the final touch-ups. Oh, oh, we're very excited. We're very excited. So when I first saw that the edges didn't quite meet, I was a little bit nervous because I thought, oh gosh, this does not look professional at all. But all of the research I did and the other tutorials I watched, they just used some wood filler and it blended perfectly. So let's try that and see how it goes. I added the wood filler and then let it dry for two hours and followed it up by sanding it down with my multi-tool. I also sanded the edges just to give them a little bit more of a smooth feel. It's time to add the stain. I can't wait. So for staining this piece, I had a small brush in which I added the stain on, and then I used a larger foam brush to blend it and a cloth to blend it even more and kind of wipe it down. Um, this just helped me to give it a little bit of texture and you'll be able to see a little bit more detail here. 
In order to get the look of the dupe, I did some staining in kind of a striped section because I wanted to add a little bit of extra texture to the wood. So I added the white stain and then just blended it individually. The cloth helped blend it perfectly and as you can see some of the wood is still showing through so it adds that gorgeous texture. Now once I have the stain on the outside I'm able to remove the braces from the inside. I've let that glue dry for over 10 hours now and let's see if it holds. It held! I repaired the holes on the inside and filled them with wood filler, sanded it down, and added the stain to the inside. That's really all we needed to do. Are you ready to see the final look? We went from a 16 foot board to a gorgeous waterfall console table. Do you think we duped it? Let's look at our beginning picture. I'm pretty impressed. Wow. Who would have thought we could make that in 24 hours with just a few tools for under $50? I would love to hear whatever comments or questions you have. And as always, thank you so much for being here with the Furniture Flippers Guide. I can't wait to see if you try this dupe. Be sure and share with me. And check out my other videos. I have a ton of furniture flips and tips. Don't let fear stop you. You've got this. I'll see you next time at the next flip.